agenda is um, our faculty awards and specifically our John uh, Vasconcelos uh, Advocate of the Year Award. And, and we are so grateful to be able to give this award to our former fact president, Dean Murakami, who we are dedicating this conference to. We're gonna say a few words about Dean and what he meant to our organization as we provide him uh, with this award. So Debbie, I'll have you go first. Great, thank you. Dean dedicated his life to fighting for working people while being an advocate for his profession, his students and community colleges. In addition to serving as FAC president, Dean served as vice president, board governor and chaired FAC's political action and legislation committees. Dean served as vice president of the Sacramento Central Labor Council, president of Los Rios Federation of Teachers, and president of the Sacramento chapter of the Asian Pacific American Labor Alliance. Dean's spirit and legacy are forever woven into the fabric of FAC. Dean's model for fighting for every student's right to dream and reach their educational and life goals has already mobilized new generations of activists, including me. I decided to get involved in FAC when I was inspired by Dean's passionate leadership at my very first AMP a little while back. And I'll never forget Dean's advice to me when I became president. He, he actually had a lot of advice, but one of, one of his words of advice was this, always make sure FAC pushes against the privatization and anti-labor movements that have been threatening public education for decades. Our students and faculty need FAC to keep leading the way. Noted, and we promise to carry the work forward. We love and miss you, Dean. And now I would like to ask my friend, colleague, and activist, Oranit Limani Prasser, to say a few words to honor Dean. Thank you, Debbie. Um, thank you, everyone. My name is Oranit Limani Prasser. I teach at American River College. And Dean's office was a few, a few doors down from my office at ARC, American River College. And I promise why well, I will try not to break down. but I just broke my promise, right? Um, so Dean was an exceptional teacher, community college advocate and labor union and social justice leader. Additionally, he was my mentor and trusted friend. Students and faculty who have taken his classes were impressed by his knowledge and passion for teaching. His advocacy included speaking at numerous rallies and legislative hearings to call on the legislators to provide mental health services to community college students and to support students and faculty facing food and housing insecurities. He spoke against the performance-based funding formula. I know it has a new name, but I, I don't think that's what it does. It's not student-centered formula. Uh, it was the performance-based funding formula at that time. Dean spoke against it as he knew that students who are working adults just can't contribute to the graduation and transfer rates because they have family and job obligations. Dean courageously led the effort to send a strong message to the California Community College State Chancellor that his lack of student of faculty consultation was neither acceptable nor tolerated. In Dean's 30 plus years of social of work as a social justice leader, he never stopped fighting for labor unions, children, women, immigrants, and all those who were marginalized. Personally, Dean was my mentor and friend. He was kind, caring, understanding, patient, warm, and open-minded. He was always there to give me guidance and support. He was never too busy to answer my questions or give me advice when I stopped by his office. He was my role model. Learning from Dean, I organized for American River College faculty to address the Los Rios Board of Trustees numerous times. Because of Dean's encouragement, I addressed the legislators twice to voice my opposition to the funding and establishment of Calbright. 
an institution that is redundant in the California community college system and is operated without faculty consultation and union representation. Dean showed to me that faculty and student voices matter and that we must organize and take action to fight for what we believe in. In my conversation with Dean, I learned about the crucial role of FAC in community college, in the California community college system. And I ran for a position on the FAC board in addition to serving on the FAC legislation committee. Without Dean, I would not be here today. Dean, you have my deepest gratitude. The world is not the same without you. Thank you. Thank you, Orni. Thanks for sharing your story with us today. As Debbie and Orni mentioned, Dean was a force, an inspiration to all of us, myself included, whether he was as serving as the president of this organization, as a vice president of the CFT Community College Council and all the other organizations he dedicated his life to. When it came to politics, there's no one else quite like him. You know, a conversation with Dean was required before running for office here in Sacramento. Uh, in the state capitol, we never had to schedule lobby visits for him. He could walk into an office, you know, get a meeting with a legislator for 30 minutes because he had those relationships. His political sav savvy and his fearless advocacy contributed to numerous political wins for FAC and all the organizations that we were that were lucky enough to have him dedicate his time. We all benefited so much. And we are seeing all those political wins still occur thanks to his leadership, his inspiration, and what he built in our organization. Now, as you can tell, we've been so fortunate to have Dean and, and as part of our organization and, and for him to dedicate his time. And I personally feel so fortunate to have known him for well over a decade, even before I had this job. Um, and, and on a personal level, you know, Dean and I, we would talk a lot about basketball, particularly Sac the Sacramento Kings, which we are both, unfortunately, we were, were fans of. And we would go to games together and it was so great for him to be so generous with his time, sit next to each other, talk politics, talk basketball. And, um, and he was always so generous. He'd have extra tickets, he'd share them with me. And um, I just, uh, you know, I really miss talking to him and having those conversations with him. And I'm just so grateful to have, um, of, of known him. Uh, but I also wanna take this opportunity to thank Dean's wife, Pat, for her generosity as well. Pat was incredible towards our organization, hosted many events, at her restaurant. So I would just like to say that we're so fortunate to have both of their talents dedicated to our association. So in a moment here, I'm going to share an image um, of Dean uh, for this award. And I would like us all to uh, have a brief moment of silence uh, to celebrate his life. Thank you all so much.